In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Push to Talk in OBS Studio. If you're a streamer or content creator, having complete control over your audio is crucial. The Push to Talk feature in OBS Studio is a fantastic tool that allows you to unmute your microphone only when you need to speak, reducing unwanted noise and interruptions during your streams or recordings. Let's dive in and get you set up. The first thing you need to do is open OBS Studio on your computer. OBS Studio is a widely used software among streamers due to its versatility and extensive customization options. Ensure you have the latest version installed to access the newest features and improvements. Once you have OBS Studio up and running, shift your attention to the top menu bar and click on Tools. This option grants you access to a variety of settings and features designed to enhance your streaming experience. From this menu, select WebSocket Server Settings. Now, this feature has been built into OBS Studio starting from version 28 and onwards, ensuring seamless integration. Upon selecting WebSocket Server Settings, a new window will pop up. Here you want to check Enable WebSocket Server. Enabling this server is essential as it allows for real-time communication between OBS Studio and other apps or scripts, helping you activate the push-to-talk function efficiently. In the same window, you will need to enter a server port. The default port is set to 4455, which should work perfectly for most users. However, if you have any specific network configurations or you're facing port-related issues, you might need to choose a different one. Now, this next step is optional, but recommended for added security. If you want to restrict unauthorized access to your WebSocket server, check the Enable Authentication box and set a password. Creating a secure password will protect your server and maintain the integrity of your streaming setup. After completing these configurations, remember to click OK to save all your settings. This step is crucial. Otherwise, the changes won't take effect. Once you've saved, restart OBS Studio to ensure that your settings are properly applied. Restarting OBS helps in properly initializing the server changes and preparing the software for optimal performance. Congratulations, you've successfully set up a WebSocket server in OBS Studio. This accomplishment is significant because having the WebSocket server enabled is a foundational step toward using push to talk effectively. With this setup, you can now explore integrating scripts or apps that utilize WebSocket communication to manage your push to talk functionality with precision. Whether you're streaming a game, recording a podcast, or conducting a webinar, having Push to Talk configured to suit your needs will undoubtedly elevate the quality of your audio. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you're now ready to enjoy a cleaner and more professional streaming experience. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Happy streaming!